This video is brought to you by the Universe of the Blue Tubers channel. I'm just here for the paycheck. Hello everybody on Universe of the Blue Tubers. This is 22 Tiger Dude here and I am here with WWE fan 0599. And Adam Pass. And this is Adam's uh, second appearance here on Universe of the Blue Tubers. So, yeah, you guys, um, we're going to actually be doing top five least anticipated movies of summer 2016. Um, if you guys saw my 22 Tiger Dude channel, I did do top five anticipated of summer 2016. It was with the big group. So, this should be a very interesting. And this is actually the idea of Mr. WWE Fan. He's the one that brought the idea of us actually doing this list. If there's anyone to really think for this list happening, it's him. Hi. Yeah, you guys. So just like with Top 5 Anticipated, you know, where we get very positive and excited. Oh boy, it's the complete opposite in this one. Okay, now, my dishonorable mentions, I'm not dreading any of these films. All of these films you see my dishonorable mentions are just in my meh expectations. So, um, number 11, well, is a movie I feel nothing towards to, but but I still have to mention it anyway, Swiss Army Man. That trailer is that's so weird, and I just don't know how to feel about that movie. So, even though I basically don't know how to feel about this movie, I feel literally nothing towards it. I still have to mention it. So, yeah. Um, weird can be good. Weird can be good sometimes. So look at where the wild things are. That was a really weird movie, but it was great. Hey, where the wild things are is a good movie. Um, but Swiss Army Man, I am really not sure where it's going to stand. But yeah. And at number 10, I have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows, in which I feel awkward because everyone, literally everyone, except for me in the anticipated video, mentioned this movie. It This looks okay, you know? It looks fine. It looks like the original, where the original I just thought was fine. I hope uh, this is better than the original. I still have some hope, but overall, I'm more towards the meh level. Uh, Warcraft, the trailers never have sold me. I know the games have been very popular and um, visually it does look very nice and all but I just haven't been sold on the trailer so I hope this movie can surprise me especially with um, the director of I believe it's Source Code yeah the director of Source Duncan Code. Jones boy yeah so you know with Duncan Jones I still have some hope but haven't been quite sold on it um, number eight I have Ice Age Collision Course not dreading this movie like most people are. I know most people really are dreading this movie. Oh, I'm we'll not... get to that later. <laughs> oh, yeah. But me, um, I, you know, I'm Mr. <laughs> nice Guy, I guess, with this one. So I'm in the okay level, but do we really need a fifth one? Like, really? No. Number seven, Mike and Dave need wedding dates. In the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we'll get to that one later. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Um, now, I'm not going to lie. The beginning of the trailer actually did make me laugh. I actually liked the trailer in the beginning. There were actually some funny moments. Then once you see Anna Kendrick and Aubrey Plaza, that's when it started to go downhill for me. Number six is Mechanic Resurrection. I think it's a sequel to The Mechanic with Jason yes, Statham. Uh, yeah, wasn't a fan of that one. That was completely forgettable, in my opinion. It just seems unnecessary. There's no trailer for it as we're filming this, so I can't really say how it looks, but based on how I feel about the first film, not really looking forward to this film. It's whatever. My uh, dishonorable mentions, um, some of the... There's only one that I'm not, like, that I'm okay with. Most of these I am kind of dreading. Mm -hmm. um, first one being Money Monster. Um, I saw the trailer for this. I didn't like it. Like, I was just like, one, they showed the mostly the entire film, and two, it just doesn't look interesting, really. It really doesn't. Um, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I actually skipped the trailer because I heard a lot of people say that. And what's surprising is, is when we didn't anticipate it, I think Caden and Kevin mentioned it in their honorable mentions, so... I did, um, too. And you did, too, so... Yeah, so there are people that are looking forward to this movie, so I was surprised. Uh, Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. 
I was actually looking forward to this movie, but then that Red Bane trailer happened, and God, I was just like, what? Like, I thought that, that Red Bane trailer was terrible, and that mostly why it led into my dishonorable mentions. Uh, the Angry Birds movie, why? Just, why do we need this? I have all the films, Angry Birds, I have all the video games, Angry Birds gets a movie. Why no Uncharted? Why no Last of Us? But Angry Birds. And it just looks... The humor was terrible throughout the trailer. And I, I'm just not looking forward to it. Alice Through the Looking gra gra Grass? Why do I keep on saying that? Um, Alice Through the Looking Glass. Um, it should be called Alice Through the Looking Ass. Because let's face it, that movie's going to be ass. Yeah. Basically, because... Yeah, just... All the trailers haven't been that great. The first one is terrible. The the original live action one, that one's oh terrible. God, I fucking hate that movie. And this this is so unnecessary. Like, why do we need this? Um, the do over. It's a straight to Netflix film, and it's Adam Sandler, with David Spade. Surprisingly, this doesn't look horrendously awful, but it still looks pretty terrible. Uh, me before you. If you know me, I hate the romance genre, so I'm definitely dreading this movie with a burning passion. But it barely, this actually, this one was the one that barely made the top five. Um, next, uh, sorry Adam, a pop star never stopped, never stopping. I saw the trailer for this. My number five is pop star never stop, never stopping. I am a ginormous fan of a lonely island i love their music i just think they're very clever god oh my i'm looking more forward to it than civil war <laughs> anyways yeah i'm really not looking forward to this movie uh independence day resurgence i seem to be the only person that is not looking forward to this movie i just wasn't a fan of the trailers honestly and just looks really really cheesy and looks like a very very much of a downgrade to the original. This was the only one that I'm meh about. Like, I, I'm i like, okay about it. The Secret Life of Pets. I just don't know how to feel about this, like, movie. Like, I saw the trailer, when I saw the Jungle Book, I saw the trailer, you know, and I was just like, it doesn't look terrible, but I just don't know how to feel about it. Like, was your first time just, watching the trailer? Yeah, that was my first time watching the trailer for it. I saw that teaser trail, and that was fine, too, but I saw this one. And I was right. just like, I don't know how to feel. You know what I mean? Like, okay. It just, just doesn't look... It just it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look great at the same time, either, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and my final dishonorable mention... Is that my final... Yes, it's my final dishonorable mention. Nine Lives. This looks stupid. Uh, listen... Kevin Spacey, what are you doing? You got House of Cards, and you do a movie about you being a cat. Why? Do Actually, do I need to even say more? It's Kevin Spacey as a cat. Well, the first one I'll mention, I, I'm so sad if somebody does not mention the first two movies in this franchise were on my uh, honorable mention list the years they came out. Star Trek Beyond. Uh, next up, another movie a lot of people are, um, well, a movie a lot of people are looking forward to. I'm a big Seth Rogen fan, but man, I'm sorry. I just think Sausage Party looks like shit. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, um, now You See Me too. Uh, the Purge election year. Can they please stop making these fucking oh, purges? Oh, we'll get to that later. I know I'm in the minority for this one, The Legend of Tarzan. Okay. Uh, uh Nine Lives, The Darkness, and Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates. Is it weird that I'm looking forward to Nine Lives more than all the movies I just mentioned for my dishonorable mentions? <laughs> I guess. Tony, Tony, you need therapy, my friend. <laughs> I'm in the curious low. Like, come on. I know it's stupid, but Kevin Spacey as a cat, I never thought I'd see the day, so. Me too. But, like, but, me too, but in a bad way. 
And I'll trust me, that's understandable, but I'm actually pretty curious on that movie. I was praying I would never see the day. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my number five um, is a movie that had a lot of, lot of hate from the trailer. It had a lot of dislikes when this trailer released. Uh, people really are not looking forward to it. I think the trailer looks fine. Um, I wouldn't say I'm draining it per se. I kind of am, but not fully. It's Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, I, I like Paul Feig, you know, I mean, I haven't really, uh, Spy's really the only movie I've enjoyed from him, but even with Bridesmaids, which, um, yeah, I have an opposite pan on, and The Heat, which was, you know, it was a hit and miss comedy with me, it was decent, um, you know, I still, they were still well-directed movies, I'm still holding some, some faith to this, but, I mean, the trailer didn't really deliver, the humor doesn't look all of that great, yeah, it's kind of weird, honestly. It just doesn't really hit a lot when it comes to the humor. I'm not really sure how the storyline's going to play out. Yeah, so, yeah, Ghostbusters is my number five. That's all I got to say. A uh, movie I was originally looking forward to. Now, not so much anymore. You know, I want to have faith in this movie. I really wanted to because, you know, I'm a huge fan of the original. The original I consider the greatest comedy ever made. I thought this different take could have been really good, so I was pumped for it. Then I saw the trailer. My number five is Ghostbusters. Ooh. Yep. I was really looking forward to this movie at first when it was first when I first heard about it. I thought it could be a neat concept to do an all female cast. Then the trailer happened and yeah, it was honestly not that great. It I will admit it's not the worst trailer I've ever seen, but it's not a good trailer. It really isn't. The jokes really fall flat for the most part in that trailer. I mean, and just why? Just, it looks terrible. And it's coming from a great comedic director. You know, I loved both The Heat and Spy. I haven't seen uh, Bridesmaid, so I can't judge yet. But this just doesn't look good. I mean, could the movie be fun? Yeah, sure. But... Judging by this trailer, it just looks like a very silly comedy that should be on the sci-fi channel, honestly. You know? And the visuals look atrocious. I'm surprised you didn't talk about that. The visuals. <clears throat> oh, no. I, actually, I thought the visuals looked great. It kept in the spirit of the visuals in the original Ghostbusters, in my opinion. But I I just thought they looked atrocious. That's just me. So, All right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean... Could it be good? Absolutely. But, judging by that first trailer, I'm just really dreading it. So, my number five is Ghostbusters. My number five is Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising. Now, Nicholas Stoller, for me, is an incredibly hit-and-miss director. I adore forgetting Sarah Marshall. I hated to get him to the Greek. I like the five-year engagement. And I found the first Neighbors to just be okay, honestly. I don't know where this one will stand, but as for the trailers, this movie, in my opinion, looks wicked, wicked unnecessary, wicked stupid. All the humor looks really just dumb. It doesn't look well-written at all, in my opinion. Everything about it, I just think it looks like a stupid rehash of the first movie. They're just, instead of it being a fraternity, it's a sorority. It's, it's the same freaking movie, just repeated. And, like I said, all the jokes just look stupid. Like, it looks like there's not much thought put into them. Just very, very stupid. I just, I just, this shouldn't be happening. This is a really <laughs> unnecessary sequel, in my opinion. I don't know why this is happening. And out of all the Seth, and out of all the sequels uh, Seth Rogen could make, he chooses Neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we're not even halfway through, and I'm depressed just doing this. Uh, my number four is... Uh, I know there's some people looking forward to this movie. If you are, that's cool. And it's based off of a mobile game, and I love the mobile game, first of all. I just can't stop playing it. It's the Angry Birds movie. You know, I love the mobile game. It is definitely one of the most addicting games of all time. I still even play it from time to time, like before I go to bed. But a movie, like what um, you said, WWE fan really 
do we really need a movie on Angry Birds? Now, I was willing to give it the benefit of the doubt um, when it was announced. I really was. Um, and then I saw the first trailer, and that was okay. I'm not going to lie. It was fine. Then the other trailers come out, and they look pretty freaking shitty. And honestly, the more I watch the trailers, especially when, oh, God, I have to sit through them when I go to the movies, the more and more I'm dreading the movie, honestly. The humor does not look great. Now, animation, animation actually does look really great. The animation does keep in the spirit of the characters in the mobile game. I'll give the movie that for sure. But as far as humor goes, as far as storyline goes, oh, man, it, it just doesn't look good. Hopefully... It surprises me. Hopefully it could be one of the most surprising movies. I hope to come out of this movie saying, oh, man, you guys, I had so much fun watching the Angry Birds movie, but, oh, man, the trailers are not are not doing it for me. So that's my number four, the Angry Birds movie. All right, uh, my number four, um, okay, I really enjoyed the first movie in this series. I really enjoy it. It's a really good animated movie, but then they just keep on going. And going and going with this franchise I'm like just end it already and this is the fifth installment and number four is Ice Age Collision Course dude dude at this point they just don't care what they call it okay man okay uh, two Ice Age to the mount okay the first one like I said really enjoyable second one was uh, not the greatest Third one, it's fine, but the fourth one was just awful. It was pretty darn awful. The only thing that saved that movie was the squirrel. That's it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It barely is a freaking movie. Exactly. And all the scenes were spoiled in all the little shorts they played before the movie came out. Yeah. And that's just what seems like the only thing with this movie. The only thing I want to see in this movie is the squirrel. Why don't they just make these movies about the squirrel? Like, really? It would be the same problem with Minions. Like, the greatest thing about the movie, you make a movie off of them, it could probably not end up good. Well, I enjoyed the Minions, so... Well, uh, anyways, seems, I seem to be the only person. But anyways, I this just looks terrible. Like, it just looks really, really bad. It seems like... Ray Romano, I think that's what his name is, right? Yes, Ray yes, Romano. You're correct. Yes. Ray Romano, John Leguizamo, and uh, Dan Sleary. It seems like they just don't care anymore. Like, really. It's like they're just phoning it in now. It's like, oh, yeah, we still make these movies and they still make a lot of money, so let's just phone it in now. And just, <laughs> it just looks really, really bad. The animation, it looks fine, it doesn't look the greatest. And like I said, the performances feel like they're being mailed in. And it just looks really, really silly and stupid. It looks it looks like a typical kids movie, honestly. So yeah. My number four is Ice Age a Collision Course. My number four is a movie we you both already had on your things already. And that is Ghostbusters. I'm really dreading this movie. I'm actually in the minority for the original Ghostbusters. I don't care for it. I don't hate it. I just don't care for it. I'm in the minority. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm in the minority. I, just, I don't care for the original Ghostbusters at all. And uh, this movie, in my opinion, looks even, like, looks way worse. Like, way, way, way fucking worse. Um, I just, all the, all the people in it, all the actresses in it, I don't really, like, care for any of them as actresses, to be perfectly honest with you. I don't like any of them. Uh... The jokes look so fucking stupid. I gotta do with John Cena. This one, the effects look terrible, and it just looks like a stupid, friggin' unnecessary movie. I mean, why is this happening? Why is this fucking happening? Is the question. Just fuck this movie. Fuck it. I don't care about it. Where are we on? Oh, yeah, number three. One, number three. One, number three. Okay. I'm sorry. You see what these lists do to me? Okay, so... This is a really depressing video, honestly. <laughs> honestly, it is. Oh, oh, man. Uh, you gotta love Eli Roth, right? 
Well, he has a movie called Cloud. Oh, <sighs> I'm not an Eli Roth fan. You know, the guy's all about just being grotesque in his movies. Um, you know, he, he's for a certain specific audience. I know there's people that actually love, you know, grotesque, over-the-top, violent, gory movies. If Eli Roth is your guy for movies, awesome. If you're looking forward to this movie, awesome. Me, personally, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't really uh, think the concept's all that great. The movie doesn't look scary at all, and it's just your typical Eli Roth trope where he's trying to just be all grotesque, extremely violent and gory, and I'm not a fan of movies that are just all about gore, 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 gore. I actually want to be engaged by the story. I actually want to care for the characters. It doesn't really look like that with Clown, um, and honestly, that's all I have to say. Number three is Clown, Eli Roth's Clown, so there you go. Number three for me. Now, uh, this has been a part of a, of a franchise now that I've been very mixed about. The first one, I uh, I actually didn't see the first one at first. I saw this after I saw the second movie, actually. I know that's weird to do, but I saw the first movie. I hated it. It was a terrible home invasion film, and it was just like they had a cool concept, right? And they just make another home invasion film. So what did they do with the second film? Did they try to elevate it even more? Now, I'm going to be honest. I didn't hate the second film. I know. It's not the worst thing I ever saw, saw in my life. Sure, there was some really bad acting and some really terrible writing, but this is a decent film. I didn't see what was so dreadfully awful about the movie. But, man, do we need a third movie? And this just looks atrocious. I think you know what I'm talking about, and that is the Purge election year. Okay, in, in the second film, didn't even do that, well, it did pretty decent, but they didn't do great, like, you know, kind of like what the first movie did, and just, these movies are unnecessary, you know what I mean? Like, why do we need a third installment? And, you know, and you got my boy Frank Grillo, aka Frank Castle, the Punisher, as I like to call him, because that's what he is basically in all these, in both of these movies. <clears throat> that's true. And, He's trying to protect, you know, uh, is it the senator? It just, now it's a hostage film? Like, it, make up your mind, people, of what you want to do with these movies, honestly. It, it just, and it looks terrible. The dialogue was awful in the trailer. It just seems like a third installment just for a third installment. I hope this does not become the new Saw or Paranormal Activity or we get one every single year. I know we didn't get one last year, but you know what I mean. Purge, election year, just looks like complete trash, honestly. And that's why it's my number three. My number three is Ice Age Collision Course. Can they just stop making these fucking movies already? God damn. The fucking first movie, I enjoy it. It's fine. It's cute. The second movie, I haven't seen it in a really long time. I think, honestly, the last time I watched that movie... I think it was back around the time the movie came out, honestly, nearly 10 years ago. So I, I really can't comment on it. It's been very long. Uh, the third movie, honestly, uh, is my favorite in the franchise, to be perfectly honest with you. I liked I had the most fun with the third movie. Ice Age Continental Drift was a piece of fucking god-awful dog shit. I despised every single second of that fucking movie. It was so pointless, stupid, everything. I fucking hate that movie. And this movie, this movie does not need to fucking happen. Just stop making these fucking movies. This just looks stupid, okay? It looks stupid. Fuck this franchise. Fuck it. It can die. Seriously. Fuck it. Fuck it. It can suck my fucking dick. I hate this franchise. I'm tired of it. Fuck it. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was hard to hold in a laugh there. Oh, my God. Oh, man, if he's just like this at number three, I, I can't even imagine how it would be with two and one. <laughs> and my number two is what WWE fan had for his number three, the Purge election year. Oh, boy. I'll just say, after 2013 and 2014 having these Purge movies... Man, it was so nice to take a break from it in 2015. It was so friggin' glorious. 
but now we have it. This 4th of July. Oh, boy. Well, yep, at least the 4th of July have, of all days. Yeah. Well, at least I have the Legend of Her- uh, the Legend Not Hercules, God. Uh, the Legend of Tarzan. <laughs> they have the Legend of Hercules. What a thing to fucking have. <laughs> oh, right. At least, have, at least I have the Legend of Tarzan I look forward to, because I, I am interested in the Legend of Tarzan, but... Oh my gosh, I am not interested on the Purge election year. The first film I know a lot of people hate, and I don't blame them. I just thought it was okay, mainly because of Ethan Hawke, who was the best part about the movie. And it had some, it had some cool action here and there, um, some intense moments in my opinion. So that's why I'm like, okay, it's um okay film. Oh boy, but the second film. Oh, I know people like that film, and um, you know if you like that film, more power to you. Great. Uh, but for me, I really, really could not stand the second film. It was really bad. And this one looks like the same. You know, Frank Grillo, who I will say was the best part about the Purge Anarchy, he looks like he'll still be great in election year. So if there's maybe like one redeeming thing I am looking forward to, it's just Frank Grillo. But besides that, I get angrier the more I have to sit through these trailers because I probably sit through trailers like maybe five times whenever I have to go to the movies. And every time they play it, I'm like, oh, goodness, this trailer. I'll still give it a chance. I'll still judge it fairly like I do with every movie I go out to see. But, man, the Purge election year looks so bad. And I get more pissed off the more I think about it. Uh, God, just, just why? Why? My number two... Okay, I already had to deal with the movie with these two in it already early on this year. I have to deal with another with these two. My number two is Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Ooh. For the love of cheese and crackers, okay? I haven't facepalm. This hard at a comedy trailer in a long time. I-, I was about to rip my hair out at this. This looks horrendously awful. I wouldn't be surprised if this is worse. If there's any film I see beating out Dirty Grandpa for my worst film of the year, I can honestly see it being this. Damn. My, uh, but you're probably wondering why is it not my number one least anticipated? I'll get more into that afterwards. But for the love of God, this just looks atrocious. Anna Kendrick, what is she doing? She's much better than this. Audrey, Audrey, uh, Audrey Plaza. She's been. I've seen her a few episodes of Parks and Rec, and she's funny in those. But the way Hollywood has just been typecasting her as the same role. Like, you know, I have to be, oh, this nasty girl, you know what I mean? It just looks awful. And Zac Efron, he's basically wasting his career, honestly. He really is. At this point, he's just like, you know what, I'm just... And uh, that other dude, that Adam Devon, is that what his name is? Yeah, I'll put it, I'll put it in the screen if... Yeah. yeah, that dude from Pitch Perfect. I hated him in the Pitch Perfect films, and he looks terrible in these movies as in this movie as well. So, yeah, Mike and Dave, the wedding dates. Yeah, that's my number two. My number two is a sequel to a movie that came out in 2010 that I fucking hated so goddamn much. I saw it at theaters, and I just fucking walked out of it. I just wanted to fucking jump off a fucking building. Um, Alice through the fucking looking glass. Why? Why another one of these things? The first song was so shitty. It was like the effects I thought were shit, first of all. I know I may be the minority for that. I didn't like the effects. I thought they were fucking shit in the first one. Oh, me I too. They, looked, I, they did not... They looked so, like, beyond fucking fake. They looked lazy to me. Uh, the costume designs, while they were still well done in the first one, I still feel like... They just were creepy looking to me. I don't know. It just didn't... It was mostly didn't just giant death. Yeah. Uh, and then you got this one, and Johnny Depp's fucking back in this one looking like a fucking idiot. Johnny Depp, what are you doing with your career, man? Seriously, what are you doing? <sighs> this movie looks like shit. 
Fuck this. Fuck this movie. I'm done. I'm done with this shit. Seriously, fuck you, Disney. Fuck you. I love you sometimes, Disney, but fuck you for this. Ah, nice choice of words. So, now let's get into our number one. My number one least anticipated movie of the summer is Ben. Fucking her! (sighs) You see how pissed I am? That's how fucking pissed I am. Because, first of all, um, the Ben Hur film from, I believe, 1959. I've seen the movie. It's a classic. It's a long movie, but it's a great, great movie. It's really great. <clears throat> and when I heard there was a remake, I'm all like, okay, that's unnecessary. But, you know, just like what I try to do with every movie, I'm willing to give it a chance um, and see how the trailer goes. But, man, I woke up. I was having a lovely morning. Then I watched this fucking trailer, and man, was my entire day ruined. I cannot believe the shit I saw in this trailer. Oh my goodness, this just looks like one of those another generic, lazily written, extremely boring, piss poor, epic movies. It looks so formulaic, literally. They're not even trying, uh, and granted, I'm judging the trailer, but just from watching the trailer, it doesn't even look like they're even trying, all right? And Morgan Freeman with that hairdo, just, oh my God, I love you, Morgan Freeman, but for the love of God, why? Why? And the acting looks fucking terrible. Ugh. Ugh. This looks like a huge slap in the face to that classic 1950. Um, ninth film, because, oh my god, uh, I I just haven't been so enraged. Like, this is one of the trailers this year where I was just so enraged. <sighs> Ben-Hur. That, that's all. My number one is Ben-Hur. I haven't even seen the original. I already know this is a slap into the face into that movie. This Looks like typical Hollywood remaking you-know-what, okay? It just... Like you said... I don't even need to say anything because you basically took the words right out of my mouth. This looks like just a lazy, you know, epic film. This looks like almost as bad as The Legend of Hercules, honestly. I would have to agree with you on that, to be honest. I mean... The acting looks atrocious in this movie. Everybody, my boy Toby Kibble, what are you doing? You were, you were the best villain of 2014. <laughs> then you were the worst villain of 2015. <laughs> what are you doing with your career, Jack? Um, I don't know who the, the, the dude that's playing Ben-Hur. It's Jack something. This yeah. dude was supposed to be Eric Draven slash The Crow in the remake. When they were going to do the remake of The Crow, he was going to play him. I'm so glad he didn't. Because, man, he looks terrible in this movie. And my boy, Morgan Freeman, looking like a trap rap video artist with that mop on his head. How much did they pay you? How much? Man, and uh, and I hear so many great things about the chariot race scene. You know, I hear it's like one of the greatest scenes in film history. And it seems like they're just gonna, like, just make it the typical action scene, you know what I mean? Like when you see at the end of the trailer. Man, it just, it seems like no actor has any chem- like you, like Tony said, we're just judging this by the trailer, and it seems like nobody has any chemistry with each other. Oh, and when they get to that boat crash, oh, oh my it God. looked awful. In the slow mo first person, I was just, <sighs> oh, I'm the one that sent that trailer to 
Tony, mm-hmm. by the way. I'm the one that actually sent that trailer to him because I yeah. know how much he loves the original. I am dreading this movie really, really bad. You know, I had somewhat of faith. Like, like I was like, okay, you know what? This can't be all that bad. You know what I mean? That's how the trailer... Yeah, you could just take that and just throw it out the window. That's my number one least anticipated movie of summer 2016, Ben-Hur. My number one least anticipated movie of twenty summer twenty sixteen is Ben Hur. <laughs> oh my god, this looks like fucking shit. And just like just like WWE fan, I haven't even fucking seen the original Ben Hur. This just looks like just basically what them two fucking said. Jeez, it's like shit. The effects look fucking awful. The acting is like shit. You got fucking Morgan Freeman look like he has long fucking pubic hair going down his head. <laughs> Fuck it, he said shit. Fuck it, this looks like shit. Fuck it. Well, why is this? Why? Well, this. Oh, uh, this. Fuck. God damn. Fuck this. I share your pain, brother. I share. Man. Your pain. By the way, like, this looks this... like some guy fucking, fucking. Took a shit and fucking decided to turn into a fucking movie afterwards. <laughs> Jesus. No, it's no, no. You want to know what it was? It's like someone pulled down the pants, took like a DVD copy of the original Ben Hur, and just pooped right all over it. Yep. That's exactly what it fucking looks like. Fuck this atrocity. This, I think this is the first time all three of us have the same fucking number one. Yeah, I think it is. I know we all looked. Honestly, sad, and the truth is, I probably was, but I still want to say I did have fun. Like, believe it or not, I still oh, had fun. Oh, this was one of the best times I've ever had making a video, honestly. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I want to thank you, WWE fan. Thank you for giving the idea of us doing it at a least anticipated, you know? Maybe so, we might do this again for winter and fall, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, definitely. All right, you guys. So in the comments down below, what are your top five least anticipated movies of Summer 2016? And, of course, I want to thank WWE Fan 0599. Thank you, of course, for, uh, well, I'm on the universe of the Blue Tubers, so it just, it was cool to do another collaboration with my boy here and, of course, my other boy, you know, it's always fun to make these uh, anticipated, least anticipated videos. It really is. So, yeah, I had a great time. And thank you for making your second appearance here on the Bluetubers channel, Adam. Yeah, what a fucking video to do for my second god appearance. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bluetuber Tony here, or Twenty to Tiger Dude here with Bluetuber WWE fan and guest Adam Haskell. And don't forget that the three of us will always have... Tiger Power! 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 Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Gordon Movie God. I have a YouTube. It's Gordon Movie God. I've been doing movie reviews, game reviews, uh, uh let's plays you know video game let's plays uh trailer reactions a whole bunch of stuff for years now i've been on youtube since 2008 movies and uh and i remember horror movies really just grabbed me pretty quick actually at first they scared me and i think when you're scared of something you're interested in it and or you can go the other way and completely hate it but yeah. Yeah. So I think those three, those three things, really, really got me into movies, and I haven't been the same since.